Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel VBA course tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to connect to a Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio using the VBA code. So let's start the tutorial. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to fetch records from SQL Server Management Studio from this country table contains CID and CNAME and displayed here in our Excel sheet using a VBA code with a ActiveX object. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I have created one new workbook. The workbook name is a Book 1 Excel. Now my aim is I want to connect to my SQL Server Management Studio via VBA code using ActiveX objects, record set and uh, uh, ADO connection strings. I want to fetch that table and display in the sheet 1 the records. So in order to create the VBA code first we need to go to developer and the developer there is a visual basic click that one. Now let's create one module in this visual basic applications go to insert click module and here we got the module here let's define some uh, SQL uh, server con uh, which is a function name or the macro you can call it as a macro or function after that um, I'm declaring three variables before that one most important we need to add the reference to connect the ADO connection strings for that under the menu bar there is a tools option here click that one go to references the references come to the bottom in the Microsoft ActiveX objects data objects notice here Microsoft ActiveX data objects 2.0 library select that one check checkbox then click OK after that we can able to access those classes ADO classes now here dim um, dim dim con as ADO see ADO.db.connection after that I require the ADO db for the record set also dim rs as ADO db dot record set now the third one I want to declare the SQL connection string as a string and now after that um, we require the connection string SQL con when we want to record the connection string first let's open my SQL connection string let's open my SQL server management studio switch over to the SQL server management studio now let's connect the SQL server connect after I connected successfully to my SQL Server Management Studio, let me expand this databases as well as this Charan database. In the Charan database, I'm expanding the tables folder. Now, in these tables, there are some user-defined tables are there. Now, for example, I want to display this country table. Let's browse this table, select thousand rows. The country table contains two columns, CID and CN. Now, my aim is I want to uh, display these records in my sheet 1 using this VBA code connection string from SQL server. So now the SQL connection um, to get the connection string the data source first we require the provider provider is equals to SQL OLE DB SQL OLE DB ampersand underscore space underscores I'm adding the new parameter in the next line if I add everything in the one line uh, uh, you call visible mm. so second one is the data source data space source is equals to the data source is my kind of SQL server name so to get the server name switch over to the SQL Server Management Studio notice in the object explorer there is a plug symbol here click that one the server name let's copy this one what are the highlight is that desktop pbu d whatever there the server name let's copy that server name and switch over to our VBA code paste here again close this one 
space underscore then data source after that uh, initial catalog initial catalog initial catalog is is my database name which is a charan database let's add my database name is charan ampersand underscore now after that integrated security integrated security integrated security is equals to sspi uh, sspi that's it now after that um, let's open the connection string let's open the connection string so we require set con is equals to set con is equals to um, new adio db dot connection after that con dot open sql con then and then uh, we require the uh, record set to enter my sql statement so here set rs is equals to con dot execute i want to execute select start from the table name the table is what here the country so let's add the country the table name uh, table name and table name <coughs> now after execute this statement i want to fetch the records these two records the column and cid and c name in the sheet one so uh, if not the condition is if not rs dot end of file then let's close this end if statement end if statement and sheets let's add the sheets in the sheets we need to add my sheet name sheet name is a sheet one this is a sheet one or you can add the index number also you can add one also but i'm leaving the sheet one also we one then range the range is the cells uh, the starting cell i'm adding a1 cell the range i'm adding a1 uh, a1 cell dot copy from record copy from record set copy from record set rs rs now we need to close a record set close map method and also we need to close the uh, connection string also as well that conduct close close that's it now let's run this uh, connection string switch over to my uh, book on excel let's create the macros run see here we got the output the country names the select start from country the country name cid and c name is we got here suppose i want to declare the next table um, fruits here and notice what will happen here fruits here um, fruits let's add the fruits fruits again switch over to my sheet one go to macros run this here we got the fruits see these are the fruits now again again i'm adding country switch over macros run and notice here here the table is displayed the, the country table is displayed but the previous data is not erased so what we'll do is to fix this we need to clear the cells first so sheets Uh, sheet one dot cells dot clear. Now run this application. Again switch over. Now you see 
we got the new values here, the new table name. Now let's check here. Fruits, switch over, macros, run. See here we got our fruits table. If I add again, country, macros, run. See here we got the country table. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to fetch records from SQL Server Management Studio from this country table contains CID and CNAME and displayed here in our Excel sheet using a VBA code with a ActiveX objects. ActiveX objects. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. Please subscribe, share and leave your valuable comment. We'll catch you in my next video tutorial.